Hi, and welcome to Witch Crafty. Today we're going to be covering another Minecraft pattern for the glow squid. This can be easily modified to be a standard squid if you want to make that also. Here's a list of everything you'll need. If you're able to get any fabric that glows in the dark, that may be a more interesting twist than using the teal minky. Pause here if you need to. The pattern is linked in the description and is for free from my DeviantArt and also my Pinterest. The first thing you need to do is some applique. Take one body square and on the side with tracing, trace out where the mouth will go. Then, on the fluffy side, begin joining on the mouth using the guidelines you made to help you. Don't worry if the fabric shifts a bit from the tracing line, you can always use your excess seam allowance to change the position of the square line so it's centered. Once done, use a reference image and begin sewing on the teeth above this. There should be three on three sides and two on one side. Make sure all of the sides of each square tooth are sewn down fully. Take one body side and sew on both black eyes. In the corner, this is how each of the body sides should look. If you can find a 360 image of a glow squid, use that to your advantage also. Below the black eyes, sew on two teal squares so they overlap the eyes slightly using a back stitch or a running stitch. Below this, sew on a small teal square. Then take another body side and sew three squares in the pattern shown. Repeat with another body side using the same pattern as you did with the last. Once done, take the last body side and repeat the same pattern as you did with the front body piece with the remaining squares but just without eyes. Now that the body details are done, take the front body piece and sew a side piece along the longest width side. On the other side of the front body piece, sew on the other side piece. After, sew the back body piece to the longer width side of the side piece.
And finally, sew the last longer switch side to the other side piece. You should now have a rectangular tube. Take the square body piece without the mouth and place it tracing up and join it to the top of the body to close off one end. Then, take the mouthpiece with the tracing facing up also and begin joining it to the bottom. When you've nearly reached the end of the sewing line, flip it upright and stuff it. When done, close off the remaining open end with an invisible stitch. For the tentacles, take one tentacle piece and an L-shaped teal piece and sew the teal piece to the bottom of the tentacle on the finished side of the fabric so it's positioned like an L laying to the side. Try your best to keep the sewn directly on the line around the edges for the legs also, so when we join them on later, it seems more seamless. Then, repeat this for the next 7 tentacles. I know this is a bit of an unconventional way of achieving this effect, and it can take a lot of time. However, unless for printing fabric, this seems like the next best thing to applique it on one by one. When it's all joined on, fold the tentacle and half so it's tracing side up and show the shortest width side with the piece that you just joined on it and also the longest width side, leaving the remaining shortest width side open. Then flip it upright. Stuffing isn't necessary for this part. Repeat the same for the rest of the pieces. To save time you can tuck in the excess seam to save time for the next part when you've completed each one.
Pin these around the mouth at the bottom of the body so the tentacles curve at the corners and use an invisible stitch to sew these on. And that is how you make a Minecraft Glow Squid plushie. Make sure you like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and comment down below on ideas like to see me make next. And while you're at it, when you go check out my videos, I upload new videos every single week. Thanks for watching, bye!